after a long re- investigation, after so many people have been so badly hurt, after not looking at the other side, where a lot of bad things happened, a lot of horrible things happened, a lot of very bad things happened for our country. It was just announced there was no collusion with Russia, the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. There was no collusion with Russia. There was no obstruction and none whatsoever. And it was a complete and total exoneration. It's a shame that our country had to go through this. To be honest, it's a shame that your president has had to go through this for before I even got elected. It began and it began illegally. And hopefully somebody's going to look at the other side. This was an illegal takedown that failed. And hopefully somebody's going to be looking at the other side. So it's complete exoneration. No collusion, no obstruction. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right off the bat, this is not a complete and total exoneration. And the reason I say that, and hear me out here, is that Trump's own attorney general said that this does not exonerate him regarding obstruction of justice. I'm not sure we can get any clearer about the whole exoneration thing than that. Of course, for Trump and Sarah Huckabee Sanders and this whole administration, the results of the report have always been less important than the spin, which is why even after Attorney General Bill Barr, a partisan official handpicked by Trump to oversee this investigation because of his opposition to it, said explicitly that the report doesn't exonerate him, they still managed to say the complete opposite. They're really banking on a low information base, not being able to tell the difference between does not exonerate and complete and total exoneration. Trump went on to complain that he's been dealing with this since before he was elected. It's a shame that your president has had to go through this for before I even got elected. It began. I wonder why that was. If maybe it has anything to do with the fact that Trump's advisor, George Papadopoulos, told an Australian diplomat before the election in 2016 that Russia has political dirt on Hillary Clinton. Because that might have been a good reason for the FBI to open an investigation into the Trump campaign when it happened. I mean, try to wrap your head around the fact that he's complaining that he's been dealing with this since before he got elected when that's when the issue arose. That's like Michael Jackson complaining that he's been dealing with these annoying child molestation accusations since these kids were seven years old. I can only imagine how frustrating it must be to have to deal with your alleged crimes since the day they happened. But worse, he goes on to call it an illegal takedown that failed. This was an illegal takedown that failed. First of all, there was nothing illegal about this special counsel investigation. If anything, giving the glaringly obvious red flags like, oh, I don't know, Trump telling Russia to hack Hillary Clinton's emails on national television, and then firing the guy leading the investigation into his own administration, to then not have opened a special counsel investigation would have been a complete abdication of oversight and justice. And second of all, in terms of it being a failure, A, we haven't seen the report yet, we've only seen a four page summary from the guy hired by the guy who really really wants to seem innocent, and B, if 199 criminal counts, 34 people and three businesses charged, seven guilty pleas and five sentenced to prison is a failure for anyone, it's probably the administration at the center of all of this. But most worrying of all is this. And hopefully, Somebody's going to be looking at the other side. Look for this to be a recurring theme on the right. After two years of calling a legitimate investigation that netted actual guilty pleas from perpetrators a witch hunt, that Republicans would actually call for a witch hunt, would actually call for jailing political opponents. And why? Because they need an enemy. They need a boogeyman. They need someone to point fingers at so that they can remain the perpetual victims in all of this. An administration that basically serves as a gateway to federal prison needs its supporters to think that they've been wronged by some insidious force like the deep state because otherwise they'll look, you know, guilty. And we can't have that. Just ask Manafort or Cohen or Flynn or Gates when they all get out of jail.